Good morning, Twitch.tv. Good morning to YouTube as well. And of course, good morning, Mini Motorways. Let's go to Dar S. Salam for today's daily challenge. Good morning, NG212. Let's see. Destinations are more likely to be double destinations, and some colors are always circles. That is going to suck. That's not a great combination. That's a recipe for overcrowded parking lots. But hey, could be worse. Could be skyscrapers. For that matter, from a from a traffic flow perspective, from a number go up perspective, small town charm is worse than, you know, big business or skyscrapers. So you're really damned if you do, damned if you don't, when it comes to, you know, the size of the buildings here in Mini Motorways. It's almost as if the game is purpose-built to eventually collapse on its own and have your city fall apart no matter what you do. This is almost like a metaphor for life and entropy or something. Who knows? Anyway, God, 7.01 in the morning and we're discussing entropy. The inevitable heat death of the universe. Everything we know and love will eventually be cosmic dust scattered to the 8,000 winds, never to be thought of again by any living being. Ever. That's nice. Anyway, Leah Fireheart is here. Good morning, Leah Fireheart. Hope you're doing well. <sighs> God damn it, Gook. I didn't mean to start off on such a note, but, you know, is a fact. As far as we know about science, maybe it's not true. Maybe we all live in a simulation, and I and everyone I know, love, and care about are the only people in this simulation who have had the death setting turned off. That's probably not true. That's also probably not true. It would be nice, but it's probably not true. Any, good lord. Good lord this map, what is happening? All right, you're gonna come up here. You're gonna come up here. You are gonna swing down here, keep this guy happy. We're already off to um, quite the start, let's say. We got reds and yellows tucked in amongst each other. Uh, don't ask me what sound came out of my mouth. I was trying to say each other. I did not successfully say each other, but you know. Let's see, let's take a bridge. Bridges are important. We've got landmass down here. I cannot pave all of this. So we're gonna have to deal with this. We've got this up here. Speaking of which, you can point down that away. This is actually, you know, because, because double destinations are the rule of the day, I think like nothing can spawn in here so long as these trees exist. So don't kill these trees, Goog. Nothing can spawn here, I don't think. How much space does one of these double plazas take up? It's a four by six, right? It's a four by three, rather. Four, four wide, three tall. So as long as there isn't a spare four by three, yeah, nothing can spawn in here. Nothing's gonna spawn over here. So this right here looks cramped and nonsensical, and you do have to consider the possibility of interlopers, but other than that, we're pretty okay. So, what are we gonna do, one wonders, about you? My instinct is roundabout. Let's put a roundabout right here. So, what we're gonna do, is we're gonna have this. These blues are gonna come down here into this weird, awkward roundabout. Oh, oh, but hold on. If I do that, you know what, if I do that, there's a problem, and I'll explain why in a second. Let's kill this, I don't like this. We're gonna motorway this. You are gonna roundabout, or gonna motorway rather, down to, okay, well, hold on. You need to fix yourself before I can motorway you. The reason I don't like this roundabout, if I had a roundabout here, that would mean that these houses can support this business, but they would do it in a convoluted, stupid fashion. They would do it by running through this plaza, coming down here and into the roundabout, and I don't want that. I don't want these two plazas to actually touch. So, we're not gonna let them. 
dark blues are going to come down here. This is going to be fine. You're going to continue swinging in thusly. So yeah, the roundabout here would have meant that inevitably these two red guys would be sending their cars through this plaza, down this road into the roundabout, into here to get to this business. And we don't want that. No, we absolutely do not want that. Now here's a question, a question for Twitch. If I have my enlarged, like I recently increased the size of my mouse pointer. And if I point that on the screen, yeah, it looks like it's bigger for me locally than what's going out through OBS. I wonder why OBS does that. That's gotta be an OBS thing. Anyway, uh, let's take a Bridga. I wonder why OBS does that. I wonder if that's something I can adjust in OBS. That feels like a setting I could theoretically tweak. But I, I wanted to have an enlarged cursor here because in the past people have noted that it's sometimes difficult to see what I'm actually doing. And I don't like that. I don't want to make things difficult for people. All right, uh, you've gone circular. So we're going to take these reds here we're gonna put the three of them into that plaza and use two are gonna come over here and support this. We're gonna have you and you go out there. This is a perfect situation right here. I kinda am afraid that a red house is gonna spawn right here actually, but that would be annoying. Uh, let's see here, purple guy straight down into the purple plaza. That's fine. The purple plaza sounds like a Legends of the Hidden Temple team. It's not. They were the purple parrots, but uh, that's just what it sounds like. All right, let's see here. We've got uh, dark blues over here. Not really, not really getting with the program, honestly. I guess I could kind of solve this with a motorway. Yeah, a motorway would go a long way towards solving this. You've gone circular, which is annoying. You didn't give me a motorway, which sucks. All right, let's take a bridge. And now figure out what we're doing. Yeah, we gotta figure out what we're doing here. Okay, uh, here's what we're doing here. We are whining and complaining about our failures as a person. God damn it. Why am I so fat and lazy? Whine and complain as failure, never mind. Uh, you yellow guy, come over here. These blues need to be a cohesive unit. That cohesive blue unit needs to do this. We're gonna have a roundabout right here. You're gonna go down that away. You, meanwhile, three of you are gonna do this. These blues are going to perk themselves up over around oh damn it okay for right now these guys are not going to do anything they're going to be together but they're not actually going to accomplish anything eventually fullness of time and all that uh you yeah do that please thank you you can point out that way that's okay so these five blue houses are currently just barely keeping these two businesses afloat. And that's all they can do at the moment, and really that's all I'm gonna ask them to do. This is not a long-term solution. My long-term solution was to wait until the map expanded just a little bit further north. And now that it has, we can do this. This ridiculously stupid thing is what we're gonna do. You're gonna come up here. You're gonna do that. You're gonna come down here and swing in like so. So the plan is that these five blue guys are the primary focus. They come in here, they hit the roundabout, and some of them go down here to this guy, others of them come down here to this guy. However, occasionally, these uh, five blues serve as the backup. These two get a little busy, these guys send their dudes on a big long stupid trip, and that big long stupid trip comes into the roundabout and down to here. And then, apparently, 
Sometimes it gets even more kerfucky than that. Huh. Okay. Okay. Because now we have this blue guy. And this blue guy. Motherfucker. Mother. I don't. Oh boy. Okay. Well, you can spawn up there. That's fine. You being up here is great. Give me a motorway. Okay. Now that we have this motorway, we can feel a little bit better about a lot of different shit. For instance, you're going to run down this way. These two blues are going to motorway number two right over to here. And now these two are going to go here and also, I suppose, here. I guess, sort of, kind of, sometimes, it's okay if these guys go over that away. I don't want them to, but I guess it's okay if they do. You have spawned in a bad place. I don't like your place. I'm not a fan of you. I mean, I guess I'm glad you exist because there could have been a double plaza right in here, but I'm still not a fan of you. You necessitate a theoretical redraw of the entire road system, which I don't want to do. So I'm not going to. You can't make me. We're going to see if we can just kind of get away with what we've got right now. Now these guys right here, oh, this is really annoying. Some of these guys are coming out of here on the motorway into here over to, oh God. I might as well just run the motorway into the roundabout, but that's dumb. That's not smart. Here, you guys do that. There, give me another bridge. I need more bridge. Is there anything smarter that I could be doing with these blue guys? Because this feels like a lot of dumb happening right now. I feel like I'm being stupid somehow. Speaking of being stupid somehow, these reds have, this red business has just gone circular, which isn't great. I do have these red guys, but you know, there's an awful lot of them. Here, let's slightly redraw these purples, make that make a little more sense. You are a blue guy. You're absolutely gonna get shunted into the roundabout. You have fun with that. This roundabout is, it might kill everything, even though everything is just blue, but um, it's okay, I suppose. Let's see, you go there, you exist now, which is not a choice I would have made, but I was not consulted on the matter. We'll kill a tree for no particular reason. Give me another bridge to replace the bridge I just took, thank you. I could probably run one of these yellows. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to run one of the... I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do that. And I'm going to kill this road. And I'm going to get a road tile back. You are the red that was prophesized, the red that was threatened, the red I didn't want to see. Uh, so, that's great. Happy you're here, I guess. Real quick, while I have a moment here, as things are only starting to fall apart, last night's episode of AEW Dynamite was fucking tremendous. And if y'all are the kind of person who is inclined to watch AEW Dynamite at all, there are a lot worse onboarding points than last night's episode of Dynamite. Last night's episode of Dynamite fucking ruled. So... If you have ever in your life thought, hey, maybe I'll give this pro wrestling thing a shot, start with last night's episode of AEW Dynamite. It was great. All right, so. Uh, you can still go there. The blues are really starting to fall apart, which, I mean, I understand. Just, just, just look at the monstrosity I've built here. Also, I think I saw yellows. I think I saw yellows using motorway number two, which, 
Who boy. Not what I would have chosen, but, you know. Here, you go that away. Yeah, this roundabout is really not helping. These uh these blues travelers, if you will, they they're not um they're not doing great. John Popper's going to be so mad at me. All right, let's take a motorway and consider fixing our shit. Let's consider fixing all of our shit. How do we fix all of our shit? All right, here's how we fix all of our shit. And by all of our shit, I mean some of our shit. We're gonna redraw motorway number two, such that motorway number two actually just hops over these red guys right here. It's the tiniest, stupidest motorway and goes straight into the roundabout. And then from the roundabout, these blue guys either go here or here. They don't anymore go here. This is not gonna work. This is, this is, this is the kind of strategy planning thing that a person who isn't actively dying can do. I am a person who is actively dying, or at least I represent a road network that is in fact actively dying. So I should not be doing this thing that I'm doing, and yet here I am doing it. So the idea is, uh, is this somehow the first time Blues Traveler came up on Gimimimim? I may or may not have made the joke before. John Popper once spent a great deal of time harassing a friend of mine on Twitter. Nora, do not claw the side of the couch. I have bathed that thing in anti-cat scratch spray. Beginning to think that the anti-cat scratch spray does not actually work. So the plan is we reclaim a motorway and we have these five guys just go straight down to this business, which sounds like a nice and good plan until you remember that it gestures vaguely at everything. So the vague everything gesturing is not, oh my God. Did we really need more blues? Did we really truly need more blues in our life? Well, good news, I've killed this one. We've lost, I failed. I tried to do the mini Metro thing where you kill a road and then you redraw it and it doesn't work. 1277 does not feel like a particularly good score. It's in top 25%, I guess, but you know, I beat Nude Indigo. I didn't beat Boggers or Ghost or Samurai Sam, so you know, drop those uh, Samurai Slams in the chat, not to mention the Ghosties. You know, there's a Twitch recap feature because every media service is keen to remind its viewers that they're constantly collecting your data, which they, they can then, you know, package in a jolly candy-like coating and present to you for content about content, meta content. And here I am making hush. I'm making content about meta content. That's meta meta content. Weird. Anyway. Yes, Angie, that was fast. That did not do very well today. So anyway, as I was saying, uh, so Twitch releases a Twitch recap thing. And one of the things that it shows a streamer is which emotes were most used in their channel over the course of the last you know 12 calendar months. The most used emote here on twitch.tv slash the underscore goog is ghosty. It's not Goomby, amazingly. You would think. You would think that people would be clamoring all over themselves to drop the Goombies in the chat, but no, the most used emote on twitch.tv slash the underscore goog is the ghosty emote, which I will remind you is my only tier two emote. <laughs> I have one tier two subscriber. It's Parlor Coast. <laughs> oh God, that's just tremendous. So what we're saying is that Parlor Ghost and I really like to spam the ghosty emote. It's not the Samurai Slam. Now granted, the Samurai Slam is new this year. Part of it, I'm sure, is that ghosty has been around all year. A lot of these emotes were new this year. Like Samurai Slam is new, Octo Road is new, the GG is new. So some of these emotes have just like, I think Phoenix came in in 2022 i don't think we had that last year but you know it would have been early this year i could be wrong the point is you know plus we drop ghosties all over the place we drop ghosties when we see ghosty we drop ghosties when we raid people when we tell people that it's a goo grade yes it is 
you know, we do that. There's a, okay, there are no ghosties in there. That's fine. But when we do tinyurl.com slash ghost bubble, there you go. There's a ghost and ghost bubble. By the way, you should all go to tinyurl.com slash ghost bubble. It's, you know, Christmas. I have no idea if Redbubble can ship in nine days, but you, you should still buy stuff because Ghosty designs good stuff and Redbubble makes good stuff. And sometimes they put good Ghosty designs on good Redbubble stuff and then you can have a nice thing like a t-shirt, a mug, a throw pillow, a lapel pin, nearly anything else. I'm literally reading copy from the command. Where was I going with this? Don't ask that. So there's an A and an R in today's uh, today's Wordle word, which is just great. It could be roast. No, it absolutely cannot for multiple good reasons. What could it be though? That, as always, is the question. Uh, it could be poram. Aside from the minor issue that poram it's not a word. It's kind of an issue. Uh, we could channel our inner St. Louis Cardinals fan and tell someone to get a brain, Morans. But no. I'm sorry, what? Uh, Moran is a word. The more you know. So that gave us the tiniest speck of new information. Knocked off a few letters and... <sighs> Shut up, sports pun. We knocked off a few letters and we figured out that the R isn't in the third slot, which is just great. Are you smarter than a Cardinals fan coming this spring? <sighs> is Jeff Foxworthy a St. Louis Cardinals fan? That, just, that seems like the kind of thing that m would make sense. He could also be a supporter of the Atlanta Atlantans. Let's see here. Uh, it could be Repap. Aside from the minor issue that Repap is not a word. Details. <sighs> yeah, you're not a streamer. Nah, 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 nah. <sighs> huh. Could the R be the last word? Last letter? Could it be something AR? Huh. Could it be rebar? It can't be rebar because we know there's no E. However, rebar is still a decent guess because it's going to tell us where the R is. It's the first letter. Okay. And it tells us that there's no B, which does make sense. B is an, I, I, it feels like an underrepresented letter in five letter words. You narrow yourself down to exactly five letters and you know, B, which is always like a low mid-tier wheel of fortune letter to begin with, B's value just goes in the tank. Hmm, I'm sure people have done studies about this and I'm just, you know, anecdotal evidencing myself into saying that B is a slightly overrated letter if you're narrowing yourself just down to five words, five letter words. What about any of, of many, many things? Huh. This is weird vowel placement. Because I want there to be a vowel right after the R. But that vowel can't be O or E, so it's got to be I, I guess. Unless there's a second A. What if there's a second A? What if it's radar? We know that it's not radar. Yeah, if your hint solves it immediately, then that's basically just a giveaway. And we've established that you know the word. You got it in, uh, da, da, da. did you post it in Discord yet? Uh, you got it in three, so you've already beaten me. So R, A, could there be Anything that makes this functional. No, I don't think that works. 
R A L N. No. What about you? What about Rulon? No. What if we send these terrible letters to the Rulog? It's the Gulag's second cousin. It's where Scooby Doo sends his prisoners of war. Friend of the Rulog, Raggy? No? All right. Let's see here. Hmm. And again. Hmm. Maybe I can pull together a five letter word that just. I don't want to sully my reputation, but I think I'm going to have to. Is there an L? There is an L. Okay, so we've learned some things, actually. We know there's an R. We know there's an L in there somewhere. And it has to be the last letter. It absolutely has to be the last letter because there's nothing that starts RL, except for Stein. And he's an author and not a five letter word. So it's R something something AL. And those two X's can't be its rival. Okay. All right, we got there. I don't love the strategy of throwing away a guess on a five. Excuse me. I don't love the strategy typically of throwing away a guess on a five letter word made out of letters that you haven't already used. But in this case, getting that L with the knowledge that we already had, once I saw that it was RXXAL, boom, it's rival. Those kids at Jefferson High got it quicker. Well, they're our rival. That's a, that's a, that's a good giveaway hint, sports pun. It's, it's, it's a good giveaway hint. Do we want a quartal on stream? I don't have anything to do until two o'clock this afternoon. Fuck it. We're going to quartal on stream. It's going to be awful. We're going to do our, our level best and we're going to be terrible at it. Here. So, guest gives us a little bit of information. Let's look at this one down here. Here's a five letter word that has none of these letters. Hey, how about rival? It's a terrible second guess ordinarily. However, uh, we got a lot of information here. This one, we have all five letters. We just need to anagram it. This one, we have four letters. So, wow. Uh, could this be a veil? No, it cannot because it ends in an L. This one is literally just arranging these letters to form a word, which is actually hard. Hold on. What the? What the fuck word is this? It's not legal. It's not liege. I have never felt stupider. I have never felt stupider. Oh my God. Um. It's all five of these letters are right in fucking front of me. How am I having pro? It's not. Yeah, that's not a word. That's not a word. That's not a word. How am I? That's not a word. How? My brain hurts. My brain hurts a lot. 
don't... I don't understand how I'm not getting this, but... No? It's plural... No? No? I think algae is the plural of algae. Oh boy. Um... All right. Maybe, maybe we come back to that one. Maybe we say that anagram is, they aren't our forte. And we go for this one up here. Uh, okay, so this one is not forte. Interesting. This one we have an A, an I, and a T. Huh. We found where the E goes here, just by dumb luck. This one... This one we're gonna find the fifth letter by accident, and then it's gonna be another anagram, and then motherfucker. Just motherfucker. So what about this guy down here? What about... Uh, a qu no, a quid is a six-letter word. What about a droit is a six-letter word? Good job, Goog. Uh, what about a fix, except with a T? Y yeah, yeah, m mother, er, fuck, and er are all five-letter words that aren't actually words. Why am I bad at this? I keep looking at this one, expecting it to fall into place. It has not yet fallen into place. That's not a word. That's not a word. There are only so many combinations. That's not a word. That's not a word. That's not a word. Yvonne et Liage? No? Okay. I almost had it. I did not almost have it. <laughs> it doesn't turn red. Like, it doesn't turn red until you have the five letters in, right? Like, this could be anything and then... No. Oh, it turns out that's not a word. So... Huh. Okay. What about bottom right? No. What about bottom left? Let's look at bottom left for a second. Let's melt our brains looking at the bottom left. It could be... Admit. It absolutely could be admit. And now we know... Okay. Now we know this. We know all of this. Okay. We're going to we're going to do this. We've got a lot of information for all of these words. This one right here has all of these letters. Yeah, this is just an anagram again. We've got all five letters. We've got to put them in order. We're lavid about the situation. No, it can't be lavid. But that is a valid opinion. There. That one's valid. This one. Okay, we're running out of possibilities. We've got to fucking get this goddamn word. It starts with an A. The middle, no the middle letters, in some order, are L, G, and I. There are only so many combinations. I will brute force this. G, L, I, E. No. L-G-I-E. No. I-G-L-E. No. I... I'm stupid. It's Agile. Thank you, Angie. <sighs> okay. So now we have three guesses to get this one. And for this one, 
we have four letters. So, good. Wonderful. Tremendous. We know that the first letter is not R. We know that the second letter is not D. We know that the third letter is not E or R. The fourth letter is not T. And the fifth letter is not T, E, or D. So, with that information, I don't think we have quite enough to solve this weird little word puzzle, but it could be T R E D. Nope. Absolutely not. Not a word. What about D E T? That's not how you spell deter. Wait, yes it is. If you put a U there, an E there. There. Quirtle. It's probably the best I've ever done on Quirtle, to be honest. Most of the time I struggle, I, most of the time I don't solve one of the words. So listen, I admit that I sometimes have a less than agile brain when it comes to finding valid words for Quirtle. However, I did not let that deter me today, and we solved it, which means we solved five Wordles. Huzzah! Let's never do that. Let's do that again at some point. Speaking of some point, later today for the folks on YouTube is another episode of The Legend of Zelda colon Breath of the Wild, and... Fingers crossed, tonight on Twitch, we will be playing Mass Effect... I almost said Mass Effect Legendary Edition. I'm going to keep saying that forever. But no, we will be playing Mass Effect Andromeda. Hooray! More Mass Effect Andromeda on Twitch later tonight. More end screen for you right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.